to try and signpost people to where they can actually get their onboard assistance as well. So there are some new things being yes, trialled Yes, I've been here. talking to people actually, but the whole thing smacks of the, oh God, we forgot the disabled people again. Well, no, it's defi <laughs> I definitely would dispute that because um, the lifts are, are built in. The braille is there, actually again I think it's very novel, so right at the very beginning on the handrail, mm. at both the bottom and the top, uh, you've got information in braille as well. Um, and all of the, um, the markings in terms of tactile paving is there, which actually guides people into the lift, into where the ticket machines yeah, are as well. There's a lot of, the, 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 the entire station tour I've had has been focused purely on what the experience is like for those that do have mobility challenges, sight, hearing challenges, and I'm really proud of what they've done to that regard. Can I ask you to do something then? Oh, I'm going to offer well, Go on, yes. Sit in my wheelchair and try and get on the platform and see how you get on. See well, so how you get on with this. I've just taken a walk all the way through, obviously not through That's not through the same as being on wheels. But I, I have used the lifts, um, and for those people that, don't, that may have um, mobility, but they don't have their sight, um, I've been shown uh, how the, the step process works and also how the braille is there. Those are sort of new features that have been very much put in place with the design of those that do struggle with mobility or with sight and or hearing loss. Um, and so it is step free and I think it's, it's fantastic and it means that the more that the stations are actually built with, with that um, accessibility in mind, the more people will have the confidence to be able to use them. So I, I'm not going to apologise for talking up some of the real ch challenges because um, that we've tried to overcome here because if I don't do that then people will feel uh, the people that need the railway the most will feel as if the railway doesn't work for them whereas I think this station it does work for them well, so I feel passionate about that. Well it would be wonderful if it works because I don't drive and Hillary's brought me here by car to see how accessible the station is and how I'd feel about using it because I've got friends who live over there it would be quite nice to visit them. You know, I don't think the pedestrian access is legally open at the moment and the residents have had a campaign against this station because of the the parking, you know, it's a nice quiet rural area, you know, why would you want that happening? And they can hear the announcements at night in their bedrooms, so, you know, it's, it's not ideal. But from the point of view of design, do you think it would be a good idea for any person designing a new station to just go around in a wheelchair or with people on sticks just to test it out? Because for me, if I'm waiting on that platform, especially if I'm on the train, which is the other side, and I want to go to the loo before I get on the train, if I'm in Broadstairs station and the toilets are open, it's two minutes to go in and out again and get the train. Here, it's down on the lift, it's across there, it's a very heavy door, it's the kind of uh, toilet facility that's been designed with. Uh, I don't know, I don't know who's been there, but the, the doors are so heavy, you know, that try it, try it, because I couldn't do that. And why aren't the toilets on the station? So I, I can't address the exact design part of the toilet. What I will say is that... But as a matter of policy, a, you know, you're the minister. Yeah, How I about am, having but a policy about disabled people that they are consulted first before any new design? Well, so I'm, I'm, I'll have to sort of ask you to speak to the team here, the two people from the South Eastern and Network Rail who've built the station. And they've built it in the space of a couple of years. It's remarkable what they've done. I know. And they've built it so it's step free. They've built it so that it's got braille incorporated into yeah, the rails. Yeah. They've built it so all the tactile paving actually so takes you, takes you not it. just not just to the lift, but also to the machines as well in order to purchase. And there is a brand new, very novel pilot going on to actually say this is the area that will guide you so that you can actually get the onboard assistance as well, so that that will meet rather than actually having to move mm. further down. So there are some really good ideas that have been incorporated. I mean, I would love all this to work, but have you tried the ticket machine? Uh, well, it, I, I try the ticket machines all the time because I'm a South Eastern MP. Uh, have you tried MP, it, so. sitting in a wheelchair with fingers with arthritis? So the, the ticket machines that have been built, built here, including the one at the front, is actually got an information point to, to speak through as well. And there are a number of um, information points and indeed loop systems through yeah, here. Yeah, I've so tried that in that has been Station. You know who you get through to? A call centre in India. Uh, well, so here you will actually get through to Network Rail on one button and South Eastern Help on another. Mm. So again, okay, well I would be, I, if you are on the other side of the platform, um, then, or well actually on either side, you'll actually see those. And as I say, there's, that's a particular help point that's been put yeah. in place to specially help those that need accessibility 
assistance and it means that the train staff are actually um, trained up to ensure to look out at that particular point because that's where somebody will be directed to. So these new ideas are being trialled by working uh, with groups who, as you say, have the biggest challenges for use stations. And I, we want to grow the railway, so I want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to use it. I have a real passion for that. I've always had that passion. Um, and the, again, the reason why this is a parkway station is that there are additional challenges for stations on the line that may be in towns, that maybe those that actually do have accessibility needs and actually do need to be able to be um, sort of dropped off from a car perspective, then have the ability to use a step three station yeah. and yeah. then make their way through to London or down to Canterbury if it's going the other way. Can I ask you about so, Which will be the last one because yeah. I'm supposed okay. to be boarding, yeah. boarding yeah. a train to go up and down to right. test it. So, yeah. Um, this was built as a statless station. Do you think that's a good policy to run down the number of people who are actually working on the railways? I know, you know, there's the unfortunate campaign to stop ticket offices closing because they, they're vital for me because I can't use the machines easily. Do you think that, is that your policy to run down the staff? Uh, so, I'm the rail minister, I'm passionate about railway. This is a brand new railway station but, we're building. But how um, do you feel about the trade unions so we who have are got opposing we, the staff cuts? So we have, uh, out of our roughly two and a half thousand stations, of which this is an addition, an addition about 1,500 of those stations don't have ticket offices in place. Uh, all of our new stations, because they're fully step free uh, and are built in a manner that allows for full accessibility, uh, do not have ticket offices. They either have uh, help points that may be staffed, may not be staffed. And what you'll find with this particular station is rather than somebody sat in a ticket office behind glass, where we know that only one in 10 uh, transactions are taking place across the ticket office counter rather than one in three ten years ago. Oh, that's a that means that statistic, isn't it? they are our statistics from uh, our audited sources. Um, what we know is that people want to have a member of staff around where they're going to be, mm -hmm. and that means being on the platform. So what you have at this station is a roaming member of staff that will be there where all the passengers will be able to access them and get help from them, feel more secure, get more information, not just where the one in ten tend to go and buy a ticket. So, so that's the change. Would you I think we might have to call it there. Sorry about that. We've run out of time. Apologies, okay, Christine. Great.